back to my channel today I am doing easy prom hairstyles for short hair um, this is the length of my hair as you can see this is it um, and I'm not wearing any extensions or anything like this is all my natural hair but I've done like prom makeup tutorials and prom get ready with me for the past two years um, so I decided to switch it up a little bit. I always got my hair done for prom, but all of my friends would always do their own hair. And I would always kind of be like, hmm, it looks really good. Um, but obviously not everyone has extensions and we can't all have that long, luscious, beautiful, thick, long hair that everyone else has. So I'm doing prom hairstyles for my short haired girls out there because we deserve just as much love and you guys can get really cute looks too that are easy like believe me you don't have to be very talented at doing your hair to do these hairstyles um i mean my hair i can't even like straighten my hair the right way like it still has like bumps in it and stuff i don't know my hair is like a mess all the time but it doesn't take a lot of skill to do these looks also, um, I know that for junior year I had like this extravagant updo and in the moment I thought it looked gorgeous, but then senior year I looked back on the pictures and I was like, why did I do an updo? Like it just looked so gross. So um, updos are trendy and they're what what's in right now, but like these looks I'm showing you guys are going to be classic and timeless and they're always going to look good and you won't regret them looking back in pictures and you're going to save some dollars doing your own hair for proms. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos all the time. And yeah, subscribe. All right, so without any further ado, let's begin. All right, let's get started. So my hair for this whole video is going to be straight. Um, you can curl it or straighten it. All the looks would look the same. Um, they wouldn't look like worse or better or just have a little bit of a different look. I personally like straight hair on myself, which is why I have my hair straight. I think curly hair just makes my face go out a little bit too much, but yeah, that's why my hair is straight in this video. The straightener that I use is the Rusk straightener. I really like it, as you can tell, give it a thumbs up. But if I ever did curl my hair, I would use this. It is a Remington one and a half inch wand. And to curl my hair, all that I would do is take a strand of hair and lay it flat along the barrel and curl it around, leaving the ends hanging out. And yeah, that's how I would curl my hair. But like I said, it's going to be straight. So what you guys need is a hair tie. Um, this will help for the bigger stuff that we do um, and then also these little rubber bands are really helpful and bobby pins I got all this stuff at Target okay so let's begin um, first off is a half up half down I did this for my senior prom as you guys can see here um, and I really liked how it looked and I thought it was just pretty and I had framing pieces down so I grab the crown section of my hair and I pull that back and I make sure to always leave some bang pieces down. I make sure that I have enough to where I don't have like sparse areas with like uh, any gaps around my face. I want it to be nice and full up there but I do want my crown area to be nice and lifted as well. Then I grab a little black rubber band and I go ahead and tie this back. Sorry, I'm like taking so long to tie it. I don't know why I'm being so annoying. Um, I just tie it back. I twist it a little bit just to give my crown area a little bit more volume. It doesn't really do much. It just sort of lifts it up a little bit. So I tie it down and then I tighten it. Then what I do here, if you guys can see, I'm separating with my fingers a little like space down the middle, kind of like a little hole. And I am just flipping the ponytail around and grabbing it through that hole. It's super, super simple. I'm making it look really complicated, but it's, I promise it's really, really easy. And then you just pull it down and it gives you like this nice little twisted effect. I'm just pinning down some sides uh, with bobby pins just to keep it down and concealed and smoothing out any tacos. I have like that little shark taco on the top of my head. So I'm just smoothing that down with my fingers and some bobby pins and I'm just making sure that the pieces are how I like it. And then this is the final look for this prom look. Okay, the next one. This one is really, um, if you know how to braid, it's really pretty and pretty simple to do. My best friend Emily did this one for a prom that her and I both went to, like when we were dating um, these two guys, like it was their prom, so we went to their prom and this was the hair that she did. So it looked really, really pretty and everyone loved it and it was really nice. So what you wanna do is create a little section of hair right from the arch of your eyebrow all the way back to about the um, back of your head. 
and tie off the rest of your hair so that you don't get that mixed in. And then I go in here and French braid it. You can Dutch braid. I am absolutely horrible at explaining how to French braid and how to Dutch braid. So um, if you guys don't know how to do this, I would either ask for like your mom or your friend to help you do this, or you can teach yourself and just look up YouTube's um, look up videos on YouTube like how to French braid, how to Dutch braid. So I did a French braid and then when it gets to the back of my head, I just tie it off and tighten it so that it's not going anywhere. It stays all night. Now you can keep this really, really simple and do what Emily did and really just take your hair down and have it be that look. Um, I like to pull out a little pieces, make it a little bit messy. I don't like like a super formal look ever. I always like it to have some pieces down, pretty messy looking. So yeah, this is the final look for that but if you want to you know amp it up a little bit pull your hair back I know some girls prefer their face when their hair is pulled back I know some like it down so it's totally up to you but I always like to have some framing pieces down regardless of whether my hair is back or not so I am pulling out my framing pieces which is pretty much just like the hairs that are broken along my temples from all my um, damaging bleach gummy and um, around my ears and stuff like that and then I will take the ponytail in the back and I twist it until it kind of collapses in on itself and forms a bun and then I will tie that off with the hair tie I will put some bobby pins in where I feel that they are needed to keep the bun in place and in down but yeah, you guys can spray this with some hairspray, call it a day, and it stays in for a very long time. Like, trust me, it will stay on all night. So yeah, that's the second one, super cute. Moving on to the third option. This one is super easy, but it's really gorgeous, and it makes your face look really pretty. So all you wanna do is take some hair at the very front of your face and twist it back, and just keep on twisting. I'm just pulling hair as I go, and twisting it back in with the little twisting braid that we're doing. And then I'm taking some bobby pins and pinning it down onto the side of my head. And that's this look. I always like it when it has like the lesser hair side pulled back, and with the more hair side down. I think it looks really pretty. Does that make any sense? I hope so. If you guys want to intensify it a little bit, feel free. And then you guys can twist it on the other side. Just doing the exact same thing. Twisting at the front of the hair, bringing like my bang pieces back. And then just gathering hair and collecting it as I go throughout the back of my head. And then when it gets towards like the back-ish area, I'm going to set it in place with bobby pins. Also, I just want to apologize for my armpits. They look like hairy and unshaved, but they're not. I shaved them right before I filmed this video because I knew I wasn't wearing like sleeves or anything. But my hair is just like super dark and it's like dark underarms. I don't know. I'm a girl. Let me live. I'm not perfect. But anyway, this is the final look. Um, and this will just pull the hair back off of your face and look super, super pretty and very well put together. But it only took like three minutes. And then, of course, you can always take down the other side of your hair that has the less side and you can wear this as a hairstyle too. I also think this would look really, really pretty as a middle part. I love a middle part when only like one side is pulled back and the other is like down in front. Oh, I think that's so pretty. Okay, this last look is pretty much what I did for Matt's prom last year. I'll insert a picture. Um, and it was just a ponytail, but I had short hair at the time, but I put my long extensions in. But I'm gonna show you guys what I did, just minus the extensions part. So. I made sure that my hair was parted and I kept it in the part and then within that part I just pulled it back. I'm not like smoothing anything out um, like backwards. I'm really just keeping the part to the side and emphasizing that I have a part. Does that make sense? You need a part. Um, and then I will go back in and I will pull some framing pieces down of course. So I less is more with pulling pieces down. So I only pull two pieces down on either side and then I bring my hair to like the middle lower part of my head and then I tie it back and I kind of just pull it and make it messy this isn't a super neat look it's just a messy look um but yeah I think it looks <clears throat> sorry I like choked I think it looks really cute really chic then I take a piece of hair from underneath my ponytail and then I'll wrap that around the ponytail elastic itself just to conceal it and make the look a little bit more put together and formal and not so just like oh I'm just wearing a ponytail this like really does change the look it's kind of crazy and then I'm just going to pin that in place with a bobby pin and then once that's in place I just like to go back in and toss it around and see if there's anything that I need to change but I love this hairstyle so yeah those are the prom looks Right, so that is the end of my prom hairstyles. Now obviously 
Um, I'm not the best with hair, but I could still do all these hairstyles and I think that they all look really pretty and I would wear each of them to prom. Now, like I said, because I like my hair straight on me better than I like it curly, doesn't mean that these would look worse or better curly. Um, they would just have a little bit of a different look to them. So yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite hairstyle was. I'd love to know. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see my last prom makeup tutorial, that is right here. Am I pointing the right way? Here, here. It's right here. And then my last um, prom, Get Ready With Me, from 2016 is right up here. Check both out. Love you guys so much. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.